So excited that you're here. He's a three-time U.S. champ, two-time Olympian, world medalist, and now you can see him in Nancy Kerrigan's Halloween on Ice. Please welcome the incredible Johnny Weir. Good morning, Ta -da. Ta -da. Good morning. I need an opening like that. You need to teach me some fabulous moves. Okay, we just had Ron McLean on, and he was singing your praises. Um, you oh, worked together. Gem. Yeah, I, I mean, I flirted with him on... on national television up here. <laughs> and he liked it. <laughs> no, it was the best, the best fun, that Battle of the Blades. Yeah, and he was saying that he loved watching you because he said you would get in the zone. He studied you before you would perform. It, do you find you do that, like whether it's the Olympics or whether it's something like tonight? I think, I think certainly that there is a, a certain focus that you have to have when you go on stage. I think most of the time in my life, I just sort of fumble through things, and I'm like just this large amoeba that sort of drops <laughs> glitter everywhere. But when I'm skating, that's the thing that I've worked for. It's my my high school, my college, everything is is this. And that's why you are such a perfectionist, is because you think about every meticulous movement from your feet down to your fingers and your toes and everything, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, this is this is footage from the. Uh, little tech rehearsal we did in Pennsylvania. But, um, you Talk know. Talk to us about the show. Like, Nancy Kerrigan, we all know and love her, and our, yeah. of course our own Kurt Browning. What's it like doing this recreationally, or, you know, as a performer, as opposed to for metal? Well, I mean, in competition for the Olympics, you live like a monk. You, you don't eat, you have trouble sleeping, all you do is skate, and think about skating, and how to maintain your energy and all this stuff. Working and it, it practice, just, it, it really overtakes your life. This, there's a lot more freedom. In Halloween on Ice, we have a lot more uh, chance to express different characters, play around with different things. I mean, Kurt Browning skating to feeling good with a hunchback as, as Quasimodo. Cool. So, I mean, it's really a celebration of the season and uh, a celebration of our sport. Truly theatrical, and you get to sink your teeth into Dracula. How much fun is that? It's so fun just putting on that, that NARS lipstick and drawing the drip down my chin every night. You know NARS <laughs> is going to sponsor you now. Like, oh. what can you do for us? Yeah. <laughs> Look at me name dropping. <laughs> well, speaking of fashion, I have to say, and I'm only saying this because I truly did love you on Fashion Police. You rocked. You. that panel is this something you would want to do more often or do more TV in general I love television I love the 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 need to be on I love the wham bam of television and, and what you all do is you want my job form. don't you Johnny I will take your job I just I need to work on my Canadian accent a little bit so the whole country will accept me but uh, TV is awesome and fashion police was an amazing opportunity and um, you know I got to wear white leather so I, was I happy. know so will you perhaps do more if they asked you back would you be interested in doing it again because you had a great Great sensibility to you. You were very much yourself as opposed to putting on an actor being a character. Thank you. Because you love fashion. I, I really do love fashion and anything that I talk about on television, I wouldn't get on and talk about Trudeau or the Jays. Um, but I can talk about fashion because it's something I love. And uh, Fashion Police is an opportunity for me to express this inner creator, inner artist, inner, you know, consumer yeah. at the end of the day. So I, I do love that. And as a celebrity, I love that you lend your platform and your platform shoes to all things LGBT <laughs> community. Why is that still so important to you? Do you feel like there are breakthroughs being made every day or do you feel like it's still a fight? I mean, uh, certainly whenever you are different, you're challenged yeah. making it through life uh, with with no blockades. But I think that amazing strides are being made. I think what uh, Caitlyn Jenner is doing is is an incredible um, a cr an incredible step forward for mm -hmm. the T of our acronym. But you know, it's it's something that I grew up with, something that I live with every day. I hope to have um, you know a normal life with with a family and children and you know house, pay my taxes, you well, know, do all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. For me, it's a non-issue. I want the fact that I'm a normal person to be my statement about my sexuality and about my community. A normal person in terms of, you know, extraordinary talents on the ice. Let's not forget well, that. You know. Well, there's always that. <laughs> See Johnny and Nancy in action in Nancy Kerrigan's Halloween on Ice. It's at Mississauga's Hershey Center tonight. There's tons of people involved as well. St. Catharines, tomorrow night, they're coming for you. Tickets are, are very few are still available, but we're giving away a family four pack of tickets to tonight's show in Mississauga. Yes? You can win. Go to breakfasttelevision.ca under daily prizing. I'd say break a leg, but I hate that expression because I've broken mine. Have some fun. Thank you very Our much. A pleasure my seeing you. you. Looking too. forward to seeing what you're doing next. Thank you. Right now, we're heading out to Jennifer, who's getting her dance on at Live Eye right after.